All right. So this is part two. Um, I'm going to go through about three questions really quick. So the first thing that I want to talk about on this, this is the OJIVE, OJIVE chart. Okay. So this is talking about relative frequency and that kind of thing. Um, so the number of absences during the fall was recorded for each student in large elementary school. The distribution of absences is displayed in the following cumulative relative frequency graph. The distance between the median is about how many absences. Okay, so one thing I need you to know. When you're reading this um, OJAC chart, when you're reading it, and it's asking about the median. The median is half through the um, data, right? And then your third quartile is 75% away. from the data. And first quartile is going to be 25%. And then your max is going to be that 100 and your min is going to be that 0%. Okay, so it's wherever it started. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So if I wanted to find the median side, and I would be like, okay, 0.5. Go over to where it crosses the at on the line. So that's at 3, right? And then we want to find when it's the third quartile. So we're going to go up to 75%, which is right here, over to the line, which is right like here. There's about five. What's the difference between five and three? Two. Okay. So with OJIVE, you really have to know what this is saying over here. This is saying 50% of the data. That means that that's the median, right? Like that's the halfway mark, 75%, okay? Next one. So on this one, we're talking about normal model that describes fuel economy for automobiles and that a Saturn has a standardized score of positive 2.2. This means that the Saturn, okay, um, it doesn't get 2.2 miles per gallon. That would be the their average, right? That would be the mean, right? Achieve fuel economy, that's 2.2 standard deviations better than the average car, maybe. Get 2.2 MPG more than the um, average car? No, not quite. Get 2.2 times the gas mileage of the st average car. That's not what standard deviation is. I have a standard deviation of 2.2. I mean, maybe, but we're talking about how it describes the fuel economy for the automobiles and that Saturn has a standardized score of 2.2. So the answer is achieve fuel economy that is 2.2 standard deviations better than the average car. So we're comparing the average car to the Saturn, right? Okay. Suppose that the distance the golfer can hit the ball is approx has approximately a normal distribution with a mean of 200 yards, so a mean of 200 yards, and a standard deviation of 15. Okay, so we're going to draw that normal distribution. And what percentage of shots um, will travel less than 185 yards? So 185 is right near. And we're going to go below, right? So we know that 13% is right here underneath the curve. This is 2.35. And this is 0.15. So if you go into your calculator and you add all of that up, you're going to get 16%. Okay? So hopefully this was a quick little review slash helpful video, maybe just talking you through some stuff. Your test is going to be a whole lot like this, so if you still have any questions, just let me know.